Good morning, Good morning everybody, everybody and welcome, welcome back, back to the Church Multimedia. To so all our new followers, we welcome you to our channel. And today we'll be discussing Easy Worship and Easy Worship Remote. So I'm um, gonna start off my Easy Worship. You have to get your Easy Worship started, please do. Check out channels to get videos on Easy Worship tutorials. Okay, so um, if you could see my cursor, um, this is where we are dealing with the Easy Worship remote. So I'm going to click on remote. And if you could see here, Easy Worship remote desktop is off. So I can turn this on. So when I click here, off to turn it on. So, so this, this um, diagonal box open, open. It, it shows install Bonjour Network Discovery Service. service. So, so Bonjour Network, Network Discovery service, service is like a plugin that we will use for our Easy Worship remote to be able to connect to our phone. So, so when I go download this, this. so I'm going to go to the internet. Okay, yeah, so, so I'm gonna click, click on, on download from the file. file. Okay, okay, so you install, install the file. file. So there we there go. go. So, And we'll wait for it to install. And that's all. Um, okay, so, so it's done installing. Open files and so as this is installing, um, I'm gonna take your phone. Um, here's my phone. So I'm gonna go to Apple Store. Okay, so. That's Okay, so um, we're done with this. So, as you can see now, I can turn it on, showing up install the required plugin. So, now we're gonna turn it on and we'll go to our mobile phone. So I'm using Apple, I'm using an iPhone, so I'm going to be using iPhone to demonstrate this, but the same process for Android. So after downloading the Easy Worship 7 remote on your phone, you're going to click on it to open it. So now you're going to come back to your remote, and under um, the MIDI, that's where your Easy Worship remote is, you're going to turn it on. So when you turn it on, you're going to make sure that your phone and your system are on the same network. So uh, my system is connected to this network. And if you can see, my phone is also connected to the same network. So now, I'm going to click on Easy Worship Remote. And if you can notice, my phone is here, showing me to peer. So I'm going to click on peer. Now, um, there's a padlock here, here, if you can, can see the screen, screen which means, um, 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 you can see me try to touch my phone, I'm just moving it, but I can't tap anything because it is locked, so that means I will not be able to have access to control anything. So, um, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna click this lock, and if you notice it has turned or it has changed to a remote seating. So now I'm going to go back to my phone and I'm going to click on logo. So if you see the screen now, you see the screen now, this is on logo. I'm going to click on my phone now. Change it to black. Change it to clear. So I click logo. Turns to the logo. I click, click on, on black, black. and do the black. I click, I click on clear, clear and do the clear. 
so you can see how it's working so i can change now the i can change from the screen here on my phone as you can see um, okay so let me do something so i click on 10 you can see that click on me. so now i'm gonna show one very important thing where people miss what the easy worship 7 remotes can do so now easy worship 7 remotes cannot search through your phone so rather what you can do with your phone is to control what you are the set from your pc so now take for instance i've got my pastor message i've typed it um and i've um, made it a song so you could just drag it to your shadow then keep it there and you have all the scriptures the pastor wants to read you can add them to your shadows now i may be wondering why am i adding all this to my shadow let's stay with me i'm gonna give you some reason okay so let's just use this Okay, okay, so, so now, now notice on my phone, phone I click on the icon, icon here, here and if you can see my shadow, shadow I have exactly what is there. I have one of the voice of Jesus and have Genesis. So um let's do a practical example. Let's say I click on Genesis chapter one verse eight and Okay, so, so um, if, if you, you notice, notice now, my screen has changed to Genesis chapter 1 verse 8. If I click on the number of of Jesus and make the tab chorus 1, if you can see the screen, taking my chorus 1, if I go to verse 2, if I go to verse 3, I say I move to another shadow. <coughs> Let me see it happened in Genesis chapter 7, let me move forward, we have Genesis chapter 1 verse 18, I move previous, we have Genesis chapter 1 verse 6, Genesis chapter 1 verse 11. So basically, once you have anything on your schedule, that's what we're going to be having live on our screen. So, um, for those of you that will want to use Easy Worship 7 remotes, make sure you know that everything you want to use during your service should be added to your schedule. So once, so once you have, you have them in your shadow, shadow you can easily manipulate them from your phone. You could clear if you want to clear, on clear, click on black. So my screen is go black. And if you click on logo, choose the logo of your easy worship that I'm gonna set. So if you want to know how to set logo, we have videos on that already. Just check our channel. And that's that about that, people. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like, comment if you have issues. And also, we would like to have you in our community. So we'll share minds and share resources together. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. If you find this video useful please like, if you have any question, please use the comment section. And please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks to you.